Hey guys, John V from Phone Rene here. I'm live from MWC 2014 here in Barcelona, Spain, and the Samsung press event just wrapped up. And do a quick hands on first look here between the Samsung Galaxy S5 and the Sony Xperia Z1 or Z1S, depending on where you're at. So, the Z1S, of course, the Z1, Z1S is Sony's existing flagship smartphone, and of course, the S5 being the newcomer is coming out sometime in April. And first and foremost, let's just take a look at their designs. Now, the uh, S5 is notable for having a different rear casing. It's a little bit bolder with the color options and the pattern it has. Uh, it has a nice rubbery texture, similar to what we saw with the Galaxy Note 3 back casing. And it just has a very vibrant and colorful palette, which is nice. It's still made of plastic though, which in turn gives it a very lightweight feel, but the construction doesn't still has, doesn't have the sturdiness that we see with the, uh, with the uh, Sony Xperia Z1. A Z1 is pretty solid, has a nice, nice industrial design, some hard lines, and would, would be a little bit more favorable to the Z1, Z1S design more so, just because of that. On top of that, you have the glass front, glass back, although it does exhibit a lot, you know, it gets a lot of fingerprints and smudges, it's still a very solid handset and looks nice too. Now they're both, uh, well to an extent, they're both able to survive some splashing with water, but the Z1, Z1S is, goes a little bit further by being able to submerge, by being able to be submerged underwater, whereas with the Galaxy S5, that won't happen. It's just basically water resistant. So for taking it out in the rain, or if you're, if it's gonna get splashed lively, it'll handle that, but not complete submersion. So that's something you want to think about. Some of the other notable features with the uh, with the uh, S5 is that you have that heart rate monitor in the back, so you can check your pulse, and also has a fingerprint reader. Two things that you don't find with the Sony Xperia Z1S or Z1. Uh, the displays, they both, well actually the uh, Samsung Galaxy S5 has a larger 5.1 inch 1080p Super AMOLED display versus the 5 inch 1080p triluminous display of the Sony Xperia Z1, Z1S. Now they're both, they both have their unique attributes, it's really hard to say which one we like right now, but with the uh, with the detail, it's going to be identical. They're both super sharp. Let's see if I could zoom in here so you could see how how nice and clear that the two two displays are. So even from a close distance, they exhibit a lot of fine details. Really crisp looking. So there's no complaints about that. But as far as the color reproduction and also their viewing angles, uh, it depends on your taste. If you like the saturated colors that gives, that has a nice glow to it, the Samsung Galaxy S5 is going to appeal to you. If you want more natural colors, probably the Sony Xperia Z1, Z1S's display is going to be better for you. But the outdoor visibility right now seems like uh, it's anyone's toss-up. We have to check out time, but it's worth noting that the Galaxy S5 display as Samsung states, puts out 500 nits of brightness, which is pretty impressive for an AMOLED display. Looking at the viewing angles, you could see just more distortion going on with the Xperia Z1, Z1S's display, whereas with the Super AMOLED display, the S5, it just maintains its clarity. And when it comes to cameras, they both feature some beefy ones. So you on, on the uh, Sony Xperia Z, Z1S, you have a 20 megapixel autofocus camera. See if I can just focus this here for you folks. So you have a 20 megapixel autofocus camera versus the 16 megapixel autofocus camera of the S5. So they're pretty beefy. Who knows how they're gonna fare against one another, but it's gonna be kind of interesting to see how they fare in that regard. And of course, the processors, you have the Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 CPU, in the Z1S and you have a newer uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon uh, processor with the uh, Samsung Galaxy S5. Looking at it right now, it's it's pretty much a toss. It's pretty identical when it comes to the performance. Then again, we're just checking out, checking out the home screen, not doing anything processor intensive, but they, you know, they look to be pretty much uh, responsive for the most part. And the custom interface is gonna, it's gonna depend on your, your taste. If you, uh, the Galaxy S5, of course, has a ton of features that caters to your life, so your health, your fitness, stuff like that. The Galaxy S5 is gonna be more for you. But don't count out the uh, Z1S just because it has a very stylish UI with the Xperia UI that, that it boasts. So when you go to, when you go through things like the uh, music player, uh, the Walkman music player, or even things like the gallery, uh, the album, it has a very, very distinctive look, a very stylish appeal, and it's definitely something you, something that gives the S, S5's UI a good run for its money. But that's a quick look at the two devices, guys. If you want to learn more about either of them, you can check out our website, phonerena.com. John V. Thanks for watching.